Hello, hello, hello. Uh, my name is Resurrection, and if you're watching this video, you probably already know that because I'm on YouTube.com forward slash Resurrection Graves. I'm on Facebook.com forward slash Resurrection Graves. I'm also on uh, many other social networks. Twitter is at A Journey to Love. And I'm also on another Facebook page that um, is my primary page. And I also have uh, thousands of followers on my blog, which can be located at www.resurrection.wordpress.com. So thank you, first of all, for clicking play. Um, I'm here today because I am a author, speaker, child sexual abuse prevention and healing advocate. Um, I do consider myself a relationship mentor. I love to talk to people about how to overcome child sexual abuse and then how to forge positive, healthy relationships that really serve them and give them an opportunity to serve others uh, and cultivate who they are with those loving relationships. So why am I talking to you? Um, well, I'm always sitting behind the computer and I'm writing, so this is a bit different, right? Um, I have a campaign on Indiegogo.com. Again, it's Indiegogo.com. And you can look up Ten City Tour, A Journey to Love. You can even look up Resurrection Grave. And the reason that I did a campaign there is because I have outgrown myself. <laughs> I really have. Um, I'm in need of internships, uh, or I should say interns. I'm in need of being able to hire some interns or put some interns in place that can help me with web design. I have no idea um, what code to offer. Uh, funny enough, I love WordPress because I've been able to build an entire website. I'm responsible for all the content, the look, the feel of the WordPress.com site where my blog is located. However, that is the extent of my understanding. <laughs> and because I am so limited there, I'm ready to move forward and soon you will have a journey to love you.com. So web design, marketing is another aspect of uh, our current needs because I can't market and write a book. And so I have several projects underway, including 10 ways to safeguard your child from sexual abuse. And I just got to a point where I really need to go into hiding and prayer and, you know, do some, some you know, additional healing within myself and then also just gain some additional knowledge and research and I'm ready to do it um, and I have a lot of the content already. However, by focusing on Facebook, we all know that Facebook can be addictive. I saw somewhere this morning that Facebook is being compared to cigarette addiction. <laughs> um, so, can't sit on Facebook, can't sit on the social network and write a quality book. My expectation is that this book will be on the New York Times bestseller. So I'd like your help in, in moving this forward and being able to help others to heal. So three reasons why you should help me, first of all. Three reasons. One is because I won't stop. I'm relentless. It's who I am. And I believe that I am in this position at this point in time in this season of my life because I'm supposed to help others in this way. Um, so it's divine. The second reason is that I'm almost there. I am almost there. I read um, something by Steve Harrison recently who has radio television interview report. He uh, actually was on a phone call and he said there's a difference between rich authors and poor authors. And he said poor authors don't have a team. And so there's no surprise that I'm running a campaign right now. <laughs> um, you know, I'm not poor in spirit. However, um, it is at a point where I would love to be able to bring on a team. I have a team of supporters who truly love me, who are down for the call of people like you, who always share anything that I post on any of my social networks, you read my blog. You do a lot 
and I sincerely appreciate you. And so what we want to do now is really just take it to the next level. We don't want to go into 2013 this way. So the third reason that you should support me is that lives are changing. I get emails, I get text messages, I get phone calls, I get comments on my blog, on the Facebook or social networks. People are reading the content that I'm providing and they are being healed. They are um, confronting their past. They understand that secrets really do make you sick. As Sandy Joe said, someone that I had written a story about earlier this year. And they get it. You know, they get that um, at some point you are going to have to confront the things that have happened to you and choose to heal in order to live your best life. And if you want to live a mediocre life, if you want to stay in bitterness and pain, if you really truly don't want to have the life that God has for you, of course you can stay in your shell. But I'm finding that people who are coming to me are receiving the the ability and the wherewithal to confront things that have happened to them, to share them either on their personal blog or to even just go back home and talk to their perpetrator or to confront family members that have supported the perpetrator. And so we want to continue to help people change. And anytime you have something in place where you are already helping people, you don't want to shut that down. Now there are websites that I have gone on where pretty much they share information. I'm not saying it's the same information as myself, but they do share information. Um, they do expose predators. They do um, give you the warning signs of certain things. Uh, however, after one or two years, they shut it down. Why? Why do people do anything uh, where they close a business or you know they foreclose on a home or you know they have to end something? It's because money is not there. And I don't want that to be the reason that I stop. Do you understand what I mean? Like, I don't want for money to be what stands in the way of someone else's healing. It took a lot for me to write my own personal memoir. Um, it took a lot for me to write a lot of the things that I've written on my blog for my own healing. And, you know, then to be able to give back and share information that is vital for you, um, it would really for me be a tragedy to stop. Uh, we have a lot more to do. So 10 City Tour, two seconds to discuss that. I am interested in going to 10 cities around the country. I'll do more, but for now the goal is 10 cities where I can go into homeless shelters with my husband. Um, many of you know that my husband and I met in a homeless shelter. Um, he's a powerful, beautiful man and I'm so grateful to God for for him and um, that's something we can do as a team, you know, and offer, you know, some supportive services including um, just layman advice, you know, for people who are going through the same thing. And, you know, we want to go in the shelter, we also want to go into um, schools where I will talk about two ways to safeguard your child from sexual abuse, give prevention to the teachers. We also want to go and um, I'll speak at conferences and, and different places. I have been invited to, let's see, Detroit, Hawaii, um, Atlanta, Texas. Um, oh, goodness, I'm sorry. And the West Coast, so California. Nevada. There's, there's at least 10 states <laughs> that I have been invited to. And sometimes the people who are inviting you have the uh, audience for you to speak to, but they may not have the money to bring you there. And while I do have speaking fees, I'm willing to go. I'm willing as long as there's transportation, uh, food, and, and accommodation. So I'm willing to go without the speaking fee. However, this is where you come in. Supporting me being able to get there is really, really important. So, I know this video is a little long, <laughs> but I just want to appeal to you and let you know that we are making a difference in any dollar 
whatever amount that you're able to give will help us to continue to make a difference in the lives of those who are healing from child sexual abuse, as well as those who are really concerned about preventing child sexual abuse. Okay? Last thing I'll say is that there is a big difference between, or I should, let me say that differently, there is a correlation between child sexual abuse and homelessness. I know because I've been in both situations. And I thought that there was a correlation, but I had not done any study on it. And recently I have. And I realized that there is a huge correlation in that a big number. So I have a pro profile story on my blog. And um, you can go and kind of put in those words, resurrection, healing, child sexual abuse. My profile will come up. And I give some quotes, I give some information. I tell a little bit about myself, but then you can get to know me a little bit more. But this is the call to action. The call to action is please keep doing what you're doing. Keep reading the blog, keep sharing it with everyone that you know. Um, you know, certainly keep supporting us in that way. Uh, and then the, the second part of the call to action is if you have $7 in your bank account, please. Please feel free to go on Indiegogo.com and you will be able to donate to what we're doing. It'll go again to internship, to the uh, sensory tour, and you know, to the website, to guilt, and you know, pretty much just branding us and getting us to a place where we can change more lives. We know that we live in a society where the biggest and best website is the one that gets seen, that gets pushed to the top. And so we want to just kind of step it up a little bit and make sure that we are visible and that we are relevant and that we are supporting others in their healing. So we want you to support us. Okay. Thank you. If you're watching the end of this video, you really do love me, don't you? <laughs> Thank you. I know I took a little bit of time, but I thought it was important. So. Hopefully you will financially support us so that we can make a difference and um, continue to do things. All right. Be extraordinary. And don't forget, go to www.catresurrection.wordpress.com. Make sure that you are subscribed. And share this video, share this video so everybody in the world that we are on